Hey guys, it's Heli, the best friend you need and in today's video, I'm recommending March recommendations of books, movies, courses, podcasts and songs. If you've always wanted a friend who was multifaceted, here I am. So we will get started with the books I'll recommend and we'll work down to songs as we usually do. And in today's video, I want to recommend some really cool books that I've been reading. The first book is The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This is a psychological thriller. It is set in a wedding at an isolated kind of an island where 13 guests come, but one of them is not going to leave the island alive. This blurb itself pulled me in. It's a really, really well acclaimed book. So I'm pretty much enjoying it. This book does have a lot of perspectives. So if you enjoy multiple narratives, you love this, but if that's confusing you, then maybe not. But yes, The Guest List would be a perfect read if you want to read something in the crime and thriller genre. And do note that this book and the next book is a part of my book club pick. Those of you who are late to the party, those of you who do not follow me on Instagram, you have not known this yet, but I've decided that every month, once I'm going to meet all of you over a video call as a book club. I thought that this will be a cool idea considering that most people are cool with the idea of video chatting, video conference now. And I have capacity of up to 500 people. Our next book discussion will be on the guest list, which is this book and Lagom, which is going to be my next recommendation, which is in the nonfiction category. So in case you have read these books or you're picking these books up after reading this video, be sure to join the conversation. The links to join the conversation will be in the description below. We have both a Facebook group and a Telegram link. In case you want to join, you'll get the link right on the day itself. And I'm also considering making a club kind of thing for movie buffs. So in case you are interested, if in case you'll be interested in discussing movies over a video call, let me know about that as well. But for now, we are doing the book club, baby. So yes, the guest list is the first recommendation and the next recommendation will be Lagom. And this is our book club's pick. So this is not just my picks, but also the book club members. So make sure that you join in the Facebook group so that you can vote next time. Now, in case you have checked these books out on Amazon and you feel like they're too costly for your budget, chill, I got you. Storytel is offering a 299 rupee trial for three whole months, which means that it costs you less than three rupees per day. So at the price of just one book, you get access to not just these two books, but actually lakhs of other audiobooks on Storytel's platform. This offer is a steal and it's only here for a limited time. So make sure that you grab this offer from the link in the description below. 299 rupees for three whole months. This is the most affordable premium audiobook subscription that you can ever get and yes this gives you access to lakhs of audiobooks no extra payment that's pretty cool i've been listening to hundreds of audiobooks in the past two years using storytel and it's saved me a lot of money and i'm pretty sure that it's gonna save you a lot of money too so make sure you grab these from the description below and yes so coming to lagom lagom is a non-fiction book which is all about a sweet Swedish art of living a life which is just perfect where everything is in balance all right I've actually finished reading Lagom I liked it I did feel that Indians already have a certain sense of Lagom although like we might be having the balance just because we don't want to spend more we don't want to waste money but still I feel like Indians and Sweden Swedish people are kind of similar in some ways so yes, I really enjoyed reading this book, Lagom, and I'm pretty sure that you're going to like it too. And we are going to discuss this book further in 21st book club meeting. So I'll see you there. The link will be again in the description below. Make sure you join in case you're interested in meeting me and 500 other bookworms on the call. The next book I'm reading is called The Great Alone by Christine Hanna. Her books are wildly popular and I picked this one up lately and I'm loving it. It's about a family which starts a new, a fresh life in Alaska, which is pretty much a secluded place. And it's about what kind of obstacles they face. And I've not finished reading this book, so I will not comment further. But the first few chapters are pretty soothing to read, especially the adaptation that you might have to go through in case there's someone special in your life is really, really relatable. So yes, I'm pretty sure you're going to love this book. And yes, that brings me to the end of these book recommendations. Once again, all these books and lacks 
of audiobooks are available on Storytel. So make sure that you grab the offer from the link in the description below. Now, the next few recommendations will be movie recommendations. Now, I have two amazing movie recommendations for you. And both of these are thriller and crime genre, my favorite. If you love mystery, if you love a little bit of mischief, you're gonna love these. And both of these are available for free on the internet. So yes, make sure you have a look at this. All of these are available on YouTube, by the way. I saw them on YouTube, especially during quarantine. I had dates with friends over Zoom and it was back then that I watched these movies. So the first movie that I'll recommend is an Alfred Hitchcock movie and it's called Strangers on a Train. Two people meet on a train. Both of these people have people in their lives that make their lives uncomfortable and they want to kill them. One of them proposes that they commit each other's murders so that at the time of the murder, the other person has an alibi. This is such a great plan, but look how it goes and especially how it goes wrong inside this movie. The next movie that I recommend is a 1955 movie called The Diabolique. I absolutely love this. This is such a mind bender. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it too. So there are two women, the wife and the mistress, who decide to kill the husband, the man, all right? But it goes terribly wrong. And this movie is very scary, very scary, all right? Um, I, I'm not sure your scare tolerance, but mine is actually pretty low. But still, like, I was watching it with a friend whose tolerance is pretty high. And even she said that it, it was pretty scary. So yes, um, watch at your own discretion. I don't have a third recommendation today because I want you to watch these two movies and give me some feedback on whether you like these or not. But yes. This brings me to my podcast recommendation. The first podcast I'll recommend is called Six Minute Vocabulary by BBC Radio. In case you want to improve your vocabulary, be it for personal use or just to increase your knowledge or for professional exams, this is the podcast you should tune into. The next podcast I'll recommend is You're Wrong About. Especially this podcast has a series on Princess Diana that I was hooked on to five episodes. I finished them in one night. Oof, they were pretty amazing. And the hosts are really, really fun. And I don't think there's any more engaging podcast that I've ever listened to except You're Wrong About. So make sure that you give this a try. And the last podcast I will recommend is called Often Ambitious. I'm not sure if I've recommended this before at some point. I feel uncomfortable and unhappy because society keeps pulling you down, pulling your ambitions down. You're gonna love this podcast. It's all about how you should reach out for your higher potential and exactly the steps to do that too. How cool is that? Make sure that you listen to this. Getting into the courses I'll recommend if you want to improve yourself, your abilities and skills. Number one, Marketing Fundamentals on edX. It's an amazing course. And you can also go for marketing courses on Future Learn or Coursera if you want to. But as far as I know, they have started a paid plan now. So I'm not sure how many of it is free, but edX is definitely still free. Um, the next course that I'll recommend is called Salary Negotiation. And this is available on Udemy for free. Especially if you're going for a job, this will be very helpful. But even if you're just a freelancer or you are a service-based entrepreneur and you are trying to negotiate a deal with a client, this is a pretty helpful course. So maybe you want to go for this. Um, if you want to go for something like a paid resource, I do highly recommend that you check out this resource called Society by Boss Babe. This is a women's only community as far as I know though, but it's pretty resource loaded and they have a subscription fee instead of like a course fee. And the subscription fee is like 2.5K per month. So you can only have the course as long as you want to. And I think it's like pretty affordable for like, I mean, it has like almost 20 courses total. So like it's pretty, pretty good. So maybe you can take this recommendation. It's not free, but it's pretty cheap in case you want to upscale and upskill yourself. Now, the next part of this video is a little bit chill and it's all about the songs I recommend, okay? Very funnily, these days I've been listening to the songs my dad used to listen to when I was young, like really young. And one of those songs is Kahi Dur Jab Din Dhal Chai. There's a Bengali version of it called Amai Proshno called Neil Dhruvatara. And both of these are like oddly satisfying and relaxing and I've been listening to them to wind down at nights when I feel very anxious. So maybe you can listen to these. But coming to foreign language songs, I would recommend Porke Te Vas by Jeanette. This song is actually the inspiration for that song, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I song of Hum Saath Saath Hai, which absolutely effed everything up. And uh, yes, but Porke Te Vas is like a beautiful, beautiful song. I love all songs by this singer, Jeanette. Another favorite of mine from her would be Soy Rebelde, another amazing song where the girl is saying that I'm a rebel. Now, the last recommendation would be Heather by Conan Gray. 
such a sad song i don't know there's a different level of beauty that you can appreciate in sad songs which is just missing from happy songs don't you agree comment below and yes those will be my recommendations for march i hope that you pick some of these up i hope that you enjoy some of these reads movies or podcasts or courses and let me know about your progress my goal is to make sure that you are pointed towards the right resources and also that you ensure that you are having a happy healthy life where you're enjoying all of life and that's basically why i make these videos i hope that you have found something valuable today i hope that you are subscribed to the channel and if you're not please hit the subscribe button i make new videos every week and in case you are not following me on instagram yet i'm @the heli blog make sure that you follow me there for regular updates and i'll take your leave now bye bye